This is one of the entrances of the old Cowden Hall estate at Neilston, close to the lint mill. The house here in the state used to be called Croft Head. In the distant past, it was owned by the Spruill family. One feature that the estate was famous for was its greenhouses and the very extensive greenhouse ranges heated using the boilers across at the mill. They were accessed from the large Cowden Hall from the second or third floor by a bridge. One of the features very obvious from the main road is the exotic plantings here of various evergreens, various conifers. There are extensive rockery areas here, various path networks running through. The old house is down this lower slope here. It backed onto this uh, pretty vertical cliff area. Some extensive sections of walling still standing. Edging here, the sort of edging you get for maybe greenhouses. Croft Head had become Cowden Hall, and the Orr family had built a very fine house to replace the original Croft Head house. However, they left in about 1913. And after that, the house and the grounds, the greenhouses, were used for social purposes for the workers at the mill. Eventually they fell into disarray and were demolished in 1964. The whole of the grounds are surrounded by a, a high retaining wall, a typical estate boundary wall. Much of it in surprisingly good condition. This area here appears to be an old walled garden. Wall on the left is the boundary wall. To the edge of the estate, looking down at was Croft Head Station, later Neilston and finally Neilston Low, before being closed in 1966. So this is the main Loch Lebo Road. Here's a section of old tree-lined avenue. These are typical estate workers' cottages with small gardens attached to them, rather than mill workers. Here's the high boundary wall that excludes people on both sides, with the mill just round the corner. An old entrance just there to the left.